hello and this is my newly set aquarium 10 gallon aquarium um i had a five gallon aquarium with uh, some beta fishes and uh, <clears throat> so i recently upgraded it to a 10 gallon after the death of last beta like it was a um, beta females so this time i when it's a very simple again if you see this is uh, an OBS nana plant and uh, then uh, this is my old plant which i shifted from that aquarium it has some brown algae that i have left for the snails i got four pair of narai snails one is here if you see one is here and one is this one kai and uh, one is a zebra one that is a hiding here at this point and um, so this is a, a, a swarm a amazing swarm and uh, uh, by god's grace this is doing well this is from my old tank which i shifted and then i got two more one is here so i'm expecting it to grow something like this in few months so the background will be filled and one i have planted here same so i really like that it is a low maintenance and it do well so it, um, those two if once they are grown free they will fill this sides of the aquarium um, i had a java fern i'm not sure it dried out if you see there's a little one whether it will come out or not and here is my <laughs> new beta female i'll introduce her later so uh, these are my white cloud minnows I got them because I, I was really uh, tired of taking care of health issues with the beta fish. They have beautiful fins, but uh, then you have to be really on top of taking care of them. Uh, they will get um, very easily uh, sick. So, and it becomes very, very difficult. So I wanted to go with some easy fish this time, something where my just like weekly water change should take care so these are the cloud minnows and i think one uh, i got a school of eight uh, and now i have six so uh, with the initial setup and uh, they are not shy but I, i'm not sure if i misread uh, they are actually they gave a tough time to this girl <laughs> for food so uh, anyways first i added these six and uh, i feel one of them is pregnant uh, i mean she has a big belly this one if you see this one uh, i'm not sure if the fries will survive or not i will not be able to do too much i don't have too much of time and energy at hand but um, we'll see by god's grace uh, if the fries survive and I, I am trying to create as much hiding place for fries like this big plant that plant if it grows a little more this plant in a cave here is some hiding place so I have I think I have created enough hiding place but I don't know this is my first experience with the fries and uh, so I, I don't know. you can see her full tummy belly so I got these girls and I mean this uh, not not necessarily girls but <laughs> uh, these are uh, white cloud minnows i love them they are very naughty <laughs> they are very active they are a big foodie so my previous bitters have been very picky i had so many variations of food for them and then too it was always hard for me to feed them but these people these are like and now i'm they are getting all the food varieties getting used these guys like Oh, wow, they just go crazy. I'll, I'll probably I'll do some food at the end. Um, now come, so this was uh, settled and I had two snails, but I wanted two more because they really keep the tank clean and the, <laughs> help with the uh, maintenance of the tank. So I went and uh, I saw her. And um, um, they were having a, at PetSmart, they were having a discount at beta fishes. And the bitters were at a very, in a very poor condition, to be very true. 
and I don't know somehow I, I I know these two fishes are not compatible in the sense of temperature I'll talk about it however when I saw her I just got her and uh, while so she's a female half moon uh, however I was worried first uh, while I was on a way back home I was worried if she will beat them up and or if there will be stress in the tank which I really didn't want it I, I have a lot of stress to handle <laughs> So, uh, but she was very, very nice. Once I brought her and, uh, you know, I just, uh, so it has been over a week uh, or actually 10 days I got her and she has been very nice. She's not chasing. Yeah, one, these guys trouble her or go and steal her food. Yeah, then she will um, try to chase them once just to get rid of them. But other than that, she's like always in her own world. Now, but give, said, said, having said that, that there is no temperament issue going on currently. The issue is these these are cold water fishes, uh, and I had a heater already in it, this tank, so I I just placed it at lower temperature when only they were here, like uh, 60s or something. But now once I got beta beta tropical, and they're supposed to be living at a little warmer temperature, so that uh contradiction is there that these guys like cold water she likes warm water and i am mama is confused <laughs> what to put so at this point i have set a temperature of 70 uh 5 74 75 and uh, so that it's neither extreme hot uh, bit and uh, for either or extreme cold for them so i'll see how it goes and this is a first like this this setup has been like this for almost uh, as i said i got her last 10 10 days back so 10 days back yeah these guys i have had almost for a, a month over a month so i'll see an update uh, how things go and uh, so far i'm okay i'm very happy with her her name is sky my daughter named her sky because she's blue and um, here this guy's name is pink lips she named him pink lips and uh, so let me show you how crazy they are when we feed them hi so for that i'm going to give them a bug bites this is fluval bug bites they all love it and um, so i'll just and one thing with the, and these uh, white cloud minnows is additional fun they are not found in wild now so they are just uh, alive in the hobby i i read somewhere once uh, there was initiative to uh, rehabilitate them in the wild however none of them survived so you see how crazy they're getting out of food <laughs> they are like one tiny monster and i have had their feeding session just like few minutes back so it's not like they are hungry <laughs> and the food is gone <laughs> and she's still there so i had to make sure that she gets food i had to specially feed her like uh, i make sure that i personally feed her i just don't drop food and i i make sure i see her eating a couple of pallets or whatever i'm giving so this is a simple tank nothing fancy i had a water baffle uh, that i made myself for the stream because betas are not very fond of however uh, because she's a girl i i don't know she doesn't have long fins she's okay with this much of flow probably i will see she does not mind it and she has a lot of space where the flow is not there like this portion so uh, she has ample of options to go so i'll see how it goes and uh, she, here is my pregnant woman uh, where are you girl yeah this one you can see the her belly is <laughs> filled with eggs at least that's what i'm a daughter guessing <laughs> thank you